Hi, it's Bronwyn from Rap, and today I want to show you a really great technique to set up your mix session using Pink Noise. I'm busy working on a fantastic jazz track, and um, it's been really nicely recorded, so that absolutely helps before mixing anything. You just want to make sure that at that recording stage that your levels are right and uh, your tone is right and that you've basically just got really fantastic ingredients that you can work with right from the beginning. The first step is to turn down all of the instruments in your track. So here are my instruments and I'm going to turn them all the way down. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up an audio track and on this audio track I'm going to uh, insert a tone or a noise generator. This time around I'm, I'm looking to generate some pink noise. So I'm first just going to mute this track and then I'm going to go and find my oscillator. I'm going to change this to stereo and uh, I'm looking for pink noise. Now I want this uh, pink noise to be at minus 12 dB, right? So just make sure that your volume for the pink noise is set to minus 12 dB. Um, and I'm going to allow this pink noise to basically play right the way through um, the track. And um, if you have a sample of pink noise, uh, then you're just going to have to copy paste it so that it is the length of the track. And I'm just going to concentrate on this area over here, um, just for the sake of time. So if we have a listen, let me quickly label this so it's easy to see. So this is my pink noise. And uh, if I open it up, this is what it sounds like. All right, so as the pink noise is playing, I'm going to turn up the fader and the volumes of each track. Um, but I'm going to start off with a track that I want to be the loudest in the mix. And in this instance, it is the vocal part. So I'm going to keep turning it up until I get it to the level that I um, think works nicely for me. And just make sure that I don't go over 0 dBFS on my channel, which is the zero mark over here. And uh, as I um, am working through the song, I'm going to slowly introduce all the other instruments in what we call descending order. Um, so that basically the next instrument that I want um, to feature will probably be the bass and then the piano, then the drums and then the percussion. I'm just going to work in that order um, until I get all the instruments at the level that sounds good to me against the pink noise. All right, let's get going. Amazing, right? This is an incredible technique to get everything to the level that it needs to be before you start processing. I'll catch you again next time.